So it's only been 6 months since Lorraine won Eurovision 2023, and yet we already have our first song for Eurovision 2024? Dude, are you kidding? Let's check it out! Hi, it's your boy Y here, and today we're going to be reacting to Mon Amour by Slimane? Slimane? Slimane. AKA France's entry for Eurovision 2024. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. <laughs> Okay, so technically speaking, uh, Slimane is actually not the first artist that is announced to be competing in Eurovision 2024. He was actually the fourth, uh, right after Musti, Celia Capsis, and Marina Satti. However, France is the first country to confirm a song for Eurovision 2024. Jadi kalau kalian belum tahu, Sliman ini sebenarnya bukan artis yang pertama kali diumumin buat ikut Eurovision 2024 gitu kan. Tapi Prancis lah yang pertama kali ngirim lagu untuk Eurovision 2024 gitu loh. And honestly, I'm all here for it, you know. <laughs> Slay! Slay! I guess Eurovision season starts early this year, and yeah, let's just enjoy the ride, I guess. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let us react to Mon Amour by Slimane, aka France's entry for Eurovision Song Contest 2024. But as always, before you do that, uh, don't forget to go like, comment, share, and subscribe because it really helps me in my channel. And you can also follow my social medias too, you know the drill. And with that being said, let's get on to it! Okay, so right off the bat, we can clearly tell that this is a ballad. It's clearly about love. I mean, Mon Amour is my love in English, so I think it's quite obvious that the song is going to be about love. However, I have no idea if this is going to be a song about breakup or a song about getting together with your lover, you know? Okay, so right off the bat, we can clearly see here that he also write the song himself. Like, I really like when Eurovision artists write their own song. Like, it adds more personality and it adds more personal flair into it. Okay, so Slimane has a very beautiful and very soothing voice. Which, you know, which is perfect for this type of ballad. And so he's basically reminiscing about the first time that they met. And judging by that, I think this wouldn't end well. Like, I think this would be a song that's about, like, a last goodbye to his lover type of stuff, you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I, oh, I didn't expect that high note right off the bat. You know what, Sleeman? Great job. <laughs> and honestly, he could hit that note really well. You know, it caught me by surprise, and I'm here for it. Ooh. Okay. I really like that little light play, you know, like Mon Amour, you know? <laughs> and who knows, maybe with a proper staging and with the atmospheric staging, this entry could at least do well, you know? Because so far, although I like what I'm hearing so far, I kind of feel like this would be in the top 20-ish, I guess, you know? Similar to what happened with uh, Lazara or Bilal Hassani and whatever. Wow, his voice really vibrates. <laughs> like, his voice really vibrates into anybody's soul, and so far I could feel it vibrating towards mine. Okay, so I guess this is a song about parting ways with your lover. Maybe in the first few lines, he basically said his devotion towards his lover, but in this line, I think the story starts to unfold and it's basically a story about how he's trying to win over his lover's heart after breakup, you know? Ooh. 
Ooh, I really like that intensity in that high note. Mm, damn. <laughs> Initially, I thought this one win me over, but with that intensity, yeah, I think it's starting to win me over. <laughs> what can I say? I love me some emotional songs. I mean, that's why Hold Me Closer is my favorite song. <laughs> And yeah, I think this would end well, and I think this would be a sad ballad about love and how he's being left by his lover, I guess. It's kind of sad, and honestly, with that type of power and with that type of emotional resonance, it really hit me. Like, it's starting to hit me. Okay, I can feel what he's feeling. Tell me the place. I'll wait for you and And if you don't come, I still wait for Dude, oh my, oh my god, dude, oh you poor thing So he's so devoted to his lover to the point where Even if they wouldn't come for him, he would still wait for them Oh my god, dude <laughs> Trust me, you're better than that. <laughs> Don't waste your energy over someone who couldn't return your love, my love. I mean, I know it's hard. It's not easy to do that, gitu kan. Tapi kayak tetap aja gitu loh, kayak kasihan gue kasihan aja gitu loh, ngerti kayak dia tetap nungguin walaupun sebenarnya udah jelas-jelas kalau misalnya cintanya itu nggak bakal nungguin dia balik gitu loh. Jadi kayak celup gitu loh, celup gitu kan. Oh. Okay. Okay, North Macedonia 2021. <laughs> really like that little transition, you know, where at first he goes all sad and sorrowful, and then he's starting to add more power, and he's finally like letting all the emotions out. And I think it would be dramatic as hell in the stage. I really hope it's going to be dramatic as hell in the stage, you know, because it needs a little bit more spice. And I really hope they would deliver that spice and let that dra drama into the mix, you know. Mmm, damn, that emotions. 10 out of 10. And it's delivered with such pain and such emotion and like it really it's really fitting, you know. Like uh, that really resonates. Uh, damn, okay. Mm. The flavor Oh my god, it just it's so real, like uh Oh my god. I really hope this wouldn't end in the right side of the scoreboard. Yeah, semoga aja ini at least top 10 lah ya, because it's so emotional, it's so raw, it's so personal, you know? And I couldn't help to fall in love with it slowly because of how it hits home hard, you know? Okay, Slim Man, great job. For the very first song of Eurovision 2024, they really opened up with a bang, you know? This is such a personal ballad that really resonates with my heart. He is in this state of mind where he just couldn't move on from his lover and still wonder if he still loved them or not. So sad, and yet it's so personal, and yeah. And I really hope that this entry would do really well at the competition, and yeah. Good job. Good job, Franz, honestly, damn. Wow, that was so powerful. Academy Award. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that is basically my reaction video for Mon Amour by Sliman. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'm really sorry if there's too many mistakes in it. Comment down below! What do you think about the very first Eurovision 2024 song? Let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can like, discuss it together. As always, before we end things up, uh, don't forget to go and support Sliman. I'm going to put the link down below in case you wanna go check him out and go check his other songs out. And of course, before you go, uh, don't forget to support me by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing because it really helps me in my channel. And you can also follow my social medias too. You know the drill. 
And with that being said, I'll see you guys whenever I want to see you guys again or whenever I can see you guys again. It's your boy Y signing off. Bye! Je t'aime.